What is going on out there, world? It's your boy Tommy on the spot for Watch Along Wrestling. Hope everyone is doing well and being safe. Old school car cam. Haven't done this in a long time. The drive cam, if you will. Going old school. Going pre Watch Along Wrestling YouTube channel. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. I was so excited. Even though I'm still in my shirt and tie, I had to come on here with you guys and chat about the huge news today that the WWE Hall of Fame will be returning. Uh, really kind of out of nowhere. Eh? You hadn't heard too much about the Hall of Fame. You almost assumed, hey, maybe it can come out uh, at some point, but you never know. Uh, WWE announced WrestleMania be Saturday and Sunday. Obviously, SmackDown now is on Fridays. So it was kind of a deal where, like, where would they necessarily fit the Hall of Fame into? But it was announced today that the Hall of Fame will be returning on Tuesday night. That's right. As a part of WrestleMania week, April the 6th. So now you're going to have a pretty big WrestleMania week here. You've got Monday Raw, Tuesday Hall of Fame, Wednesday presumably NXT, Friday SmackDown, and then WrestleMania on Saturday and Sunday. And I think that what this means is that the big announcement, one of the two big announcements that's being teased for NXT tonight will be that NXT TakeOver will be moving to a two-night festivities or two-night event extravaganza, if you will, on Wednesday and Thursday night. If you think about it, kind of just makes uh, everything work very well together. You figure it's a full week of WWE programming. WWE loves to promote this and uh, go all out for WrestleMania week. Uh, so some of the specifics, the Hall of Fame will be available in the in the United States on exclusively on Peacock, as obviously that's coming down the pike and across the world via the WWE Network. So anywhere outside of the US, you'll still see that exclusively on the WWE Network. They did announce that not only will there be a new class for 2021, but there'll be an, uh, the old class, 2020, the one that never got to be inducted last year, will still be going in. So two different WWE classes. I don't know how they're going to do this. To me, this feels a little insane. The WWE Hall of Fame is typically about a three to four, five hour show if Mr. T's involved uh, or Hillbilly Jim's involved. Uh, but they're going to do two different uh, sets of inductees. Uh, in insane. So obviously last year's inductees, Dave Batista, the NWO consisting of Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Sean Waltman, the Bella Twins, JBL, the British Bulldog, Baby Boy Smith, and Juice and Thunder Liger. So six inductees, maybe it won't be as long. It'll be similar to the 2013 version, but 2013 was still a rather lengthy show. So Hopefully no one gets their time cut, but at the same time, I really can't see how you don't cut time and have a show that doesn't last six, seven hours. You know they'll probably do some sort of red carpet. Though I will say it has been interesting that they have not come out and say anything about where this is going to be held. I assume that means there won't be any fans in attendance, uh, which is to be expected. They want the first event with fans fully in attendance to be WrestleMania. And so it makes sense to not have any fans there. But what I'm hoping is that this leads to the old school WWE Hall of Fame. Go on the WWE Network, check out the Hall of Fame from like the class of 94. Uh, class, actually, I guess class 94, I don't think they had a ceremony for, but uh, class of 96, rather. Uh, some of those older classes, I think they did have 94, 95, 96. Those older classes, it was like in a, a rec hall of a, of a hotel, of the Marriott. Uh, WrestleMania 20s was held in that kind of intimate atmosphere. And hopefully they'll be able to do that maybe just with the talent because it really is a night where talent can appreciate each other, enjoy where they're at. Remember, WWE, they don't have to travel anywhere. They've been in Florida for I don't know how long. So it'll be a chance for the current crop of talent to really appreciate uh, the stars of the past. And I, uh, I think that's great. It could make for an interesting watch. It's something I, I thoroughly enjoy. And uh, Hall of Fame always holds a special place for me. Interesting seeing the Hall of Fame on a Tuesday. Well before the weekend of WrestleMania, but hey, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm excited for it, and I do think that means that tonight on NXT, you're going to get your announcement of a two-night NXT TakeOver, which, oh boy, that's going to be uh, quite a bit of WWE wrestling for the week of WrestleMania 37. In any event, I'm excited about this. Let me know in the comment section who you want to see inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame for the class of 2021, and what you think about the WWE Hall of Fame returning as a part of WrestleMania 37 week. Until next time, everybody, I'm Tommy on the spot. I'll see you guys in the next video.